Dude, have you felt how light these things are? <laughs> What's up everybody, Matt here, Cisco Diesel on UTB Obsessions with the Diesel Rhino. We got another piece of the puzzle. Uh, we got with Rogue Sand Tires. Rogue Sand Tires, if you watch our UTB Obsessions Instagram or Facebook or social media, anything like that, we obviously are a big fan of these tires. It's the lightest carcass on the market. Uh, most of these tires themselves are like 25 pounds. Um, there's no other tire on the market that's as light. Um, they're customizable with how many paddles you can put on them. The mill to stick to uh, even number paddles. But I got with the boys at Rogue, Scott, Mike, Davey, all the crew at Rogue. We can't thank you guys enough for helping us out on this build. Um, we went with a 32 inch 18 paddle. This isn't something that we usually would sell to like the average side-by-side -side because they don't make that much torque and they don't need 18 pounds. Some of the Pro-R Turbo guys, that's gonna be only a 34. So it's kind of a, a one-off tire that we did for this, which is something they would do for you if you had a project like that. They're always game for that. Um, so yeah, this is an 18 paddle, 32 inch, full buff, full buff front. Um, they're, those are gonna help cut because they grab traction on the sand. That buffing, on the tire is just like sandpaper. Um, so it really grabs the sand on our four wheel drive cars. We'll try and make it up stuff in two wheel drive, won't make it, and four wheel drive, it'll fly right up it. Um, we're a big believer in the buffed tire with the glued on paddles. We've never had a problem with them. Um, the uh, With puncturing, and people worry about that a lot. Um, I actually just punctured my first one and it would have punctured any tire, um, including a molded tire. But anyways, big fan of Rogue. We sell a lot of them here at the shop and it was my first choice to go with on the Rhino. So thank you Rogue for getting together with us on this project and hooking us up and helping us pick how many paddles we need for all the torque it's gonna make. We're hoping for 450 to 500 foot pounds of torque. What? So it should turn these just fine. Thanks for watching.